Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. This video will show you how you can use MEMU or MEMU emulator. This is Android emulator and map your gaming pad keys to emulator. So MEMU um, -E emulator is three very fast Android emulator for your PC and if you're playing games you can map the keys so for example in this demo uh, i'll use bullet force game because uh, well it's action sort of csgo style game and you can create a match you can create a game where no one can connect so use this as as a test ground obviously this kind of setting up um, can be done on any computer or not any computer on any Android game just a bit of tweaking and etc and you'll be able to do it so right now the game is running and I have the keyboard connected so let's reset my settings so let's go to keyboard and clear so on e in MEMU and sorry I not clear this clear save so no keys so obviously mouse is move about right click does nothing and keyboard does nothing so let's start mapping the keys for keyboard so click on that if you're in a full screen sorry my bad if you're in a full screen or you're not basically on the right hand side you should see these all options so click on this this is a basic key mapping so right now I need to map the WASD keys so basically it's gonna be this so I move somewhere about here and make it a bit make it a bit bigger make a bit bigger so let's do this way make a bit bigger so save you can name whatever you want I'll leave as a bullet force so right now my as you see my WASD working but they're a bit off center because if I'm going backwards you see this is where the key actually and this is moved a bit to a to a side so I need to move this a bit this way click save save it so I'm sort of happy with WASD still a bit off center so move this way save bullet force okay so as a WASD is fine I'm happy with WASD keys next is fire so again click on the keyboard and this is a fire button for mouse so click fire button here the cross are shooting games so you need to basically drag this to a center where your cross is and this is a sensitivity of the mouse the the more you go up the mouse becomes more sensitive to a gameplay so click save bullet force and now i can play this but if you click right click the mouse got locked mouse get locked and now you can shoot and basically this is right now we mapped wasd and the mouse next thing uh, what we need to map is if i tap on here it's going to be r to reload space to jump f to zoom in g is to uh, do a grenade and if i'll drag this way and do q it will swap weapons so save save and now swap weapon shoot jump shoot reload and throw a grenade and F obviously is to zoom so that's it that's fine with the keys keyboard is all mapped uh, and again this can be done on any game you just need to tweak a bit spend a bit time to tweaking about and then uh, all good so that's done obviously you can map all these keys for a drone and specifically in this game and etc but I'm happy what I done now but now how to map the, the joystick how to map the joystick and to map the joystick you need to download a program which is called let me see if the camera actually so yes so the app you need to download the program is called joy to key it's a free to trial and if you happen if you want to use it more it's I think a seven dollars will cost you seven here we have price seven US dollars and you get a license you can use this then for free forever but well, not for free for life you get the activation so you use this you install um, you can try about so I already installed so this is running here 
now as you can see it's not registered so it's not registered yet so um, let's test it out I'll leave the link in the description below how to use it so um, let's close that close that I'll show you how all this works so you connect Xbox one I well I'm using Xbox one controller using the USB cable so I connected this to my PC PC made the noise then loaded a couple of drivers automatically and a Windows 10 detected my gaming uh, mouse so right now if I go to settings and configure joystick I got the window popped up and if I click configure gamepad properties I should get a Windows 10 uh, Windows game controller option and if I click on properties here I get this so right now let's see if it's working so as you see X and Y is working X and Y rotation working key is working uh, RB and LB working triggers detected and everything is fine so right now we need to map this to work with this game with uh, with the game obviously this is all working with the keyboard so we need to using a joy to key program to map that if I press Y and this is actually keyboard button that and that's how it's gonna work so right now if I close that and let's start from beginning so stick one so basically it's a left stick as you see I already done it that if I move stick to the left it should pre press function A on a key keyboard it's to the right D to up is W and down is S and the stick two which is this right or R free so if I move stick to a left mouse will move by 50 minus 50 or so you can go all the way to 100 I tried with 100 it's too sensitive it's unplayable 50 is a very good for me so click OK and as, as you see I done all that setup so next thing is I need to do a reload for example reload is the letter R on the keyboard so what reload I would like to have uh, well LB will be a reload so I click on this window and I can see it's a number five on the on a controller is a number five key because it's blinking so I need to find button five and I say that button five is actually keyboard button R click OK now let's find um, what else um, zoom in RB is but button six so button six is actually keyboard button F obviously uh, I'm copying everything from here as you can see space F G R Q all these I'm I'm, 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 I'm basically copying this so um, you map your keyboard first if you happy with the mapping take a note where your keys and what keys do, does in the game and then go to this this program and start messing about in here so next is uh, shoot right for some reason I can work it out how to do a left trigger and a right trigger to work so let's say for this purpose I'll do button B which is 2 to be as my shoot so button B or button 2 is gonna be a mouse mouse um, left click that's gonna be a mouse left click okay so I'm happy with all this you can leave this running you need to leave this running to work so let's go back to the game so right now I'm using a controller shoot shoot reload I'm using a controller to move about <coughs> excuse me if you're not happy about sensitivity of the camera to move around you can go back to this app this program and where it says mouse 50 all these you can increase it and thus the mouse sensitivity will be much much like well higher and you'll be able to use it even more so what else I have grenade grenade will be X for example grenade will be X so X is number three so let's find free and do grenade is not X grenade is G on the keyboard but it's X on the controller so that's fine go back and obviously I don't have any grenades left so I cannot do anything but that's it I'm, I'm playing the game reload 
and playing the game using the controller. And you can map loads of things, loads of loads of buttons on on this uh, app, because it's basically how many keys you need on here. Like Q, for example, Q. I forgot Q. Q is gonna be um, right. Uh, what's this? Point view. No. Um, a. All right. Let's say um, swap will be button three. Button three will be swap button. 10 is actually keyboard button Q so sorry uh, there so button 10 I was forgot to change the camera button 10 is function Q so if we'll go back to a game so if we we'll go back to a game I press R3 and I swap the weapon so swap the weapon reload And that's it. That's how you map your gamepad keys to a con keyboard, which then been mapped to the Android emulator. And you can use this, like I said, with all Android games. You don't need to use any third part, third um, action, third, free, what's it called, first person action games. You can map that that kind of functions to a uh, Lineage 2, Guns of Boom, Nova. Oh, you can go and, and map whatever you like keys. Uh, I map the keys to a uh, Guns of Boom. Previously, and I was playing it because Guns N' Boom game is basically. You know what? I'll I'll show you. So if I open up, so as you can see, it's it's detected my keyboard keys. It's detected my keyboard keys because I've already mapped the keyboard. So let's wait until game is loads. And Guns N' Boom game is a you just basically playing a team against a team, but you don't need to press the trigger to shoot. It's auto shoot, which is very helpful because then you don't need to map anything for auto shoot. So right now, um, let's see, uh, button 8, which is button 8. Button 8 is the start, I need to remember that, because that's how you start the game. So, let's wait until Guns of Boom loads. So, battle, as you see, 1 is to battle, so if I press 1 on a controller, it jumps into a game. So right now, uh, this is a Guns of Boom already pre-mapped, so hopefully it's all s s the same as I left before. We're gonna find out now. So battle starting now. So lock the mouse, and here we are. Okay, it's a bit glitchy game because here we are now. Now we now we're talking. So let's go. Let's go. Try to a bit laggy for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe my computer is loading some updates. But here we are, I'm playing Guns N' Boom with the controller. First kill. I forgot to map the, the reload, it's gonna be this. All right, so RB, LB is the reload. Oh, he threw a grenade. So, start, join the battle, let's go. And I was playing this game yesterday with the keyboard. It's, it's brilliant. I'm, I'm saying, it, I'm telling you, it's, it's a very, very brilliant re reload. So I'll just leave it. I won't gonna win anyway. So this is how you map your gaming pad to an Android emulator and play games. You can, like I said, map this to any game, Lineage, Order Chaos Online, anything. And the keyboard you can map to uh, mobile style games, pretty much any game you can imagine on the Google Play Store. There is a chance you can map the keys and play the Android game on your PC and controlling everything with a keyboard or controller. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.